Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of the Fine Lectures with Kat C.C. Kat. On today's episode, we're going to talk about why study investments and what investment portfolio management is all about. Here's the first question for you. Ikaw ba kaya ka pinadala? sa eskwela ng mga magulang mo, eh dahil sinabi sa'yo na anak, pumunta ka ng eskwelahan, mag-aral ka, para magkaroon ka ng magandang trabaho in the future. So, if your answer is yes, probably we've heard the same lines from my parents. Okay? But, no parent has ever told their kids na anak, mag-aral ka para yumaman tayo. Narinig nyo na ba yun? Sinabi na ba nila yun? No? So for this subject, probably you will be asking, Ma'am, is this one of those many subjects na after this semester ay eh, makakalimutan din namin? Well, the answer depends on you and how invested you are in this subject. I have uh, a student last semester. I asked them this question, how do you see yourself 5 or 10 years from now? And the student answered me, sabi niya, Ma'am, I'm seeing myself... 10 years from now na meron ng malaking mansion, maraming mga luxury cars, at maraming mga mamahaling motorsiklo. And so I said, wow, okay. Uh, the first thing that you, you'll probably evaluate this person is very materialistic siya, right? But of course, since that is his, an his answer, we cannot judge him na, uy, napaka-materialistic naman. You know, in this era of social media, People will always automatically assume na kung marami kang ari-arian or marami kang mga assets na, pwed na pwedeng i-flex, eh, automatic, masaya ka na, right? So, again, that's, that is another topic to be talked about. Pero let's focus on the word security. Because investment and security comes hand in hand. So, it doesn't necessarily mean you have investments. You're automatically rich. Okay? Meron tayong misconception dito sa Pilipinas na pag sinabi mong nag invest ka, eh automatic mayaman ka. So this, this perspective is one of the many misconceptions of Filipinos when it comes to investments. And for other people, they find it really amusing. It's something that not everybody is knowledgeable about, which is true. Okay? Now, I want to share with you a quote by Mr. Warren Buffett. He is the icon of investing in the 21st century and he said, The best investment you can make is an investment in yourself. The more you learn, the more you earn. At sabi nga ni late Ernie Baron, he said, Knowledge is power. So, if you want to be rich and wealthy and stable in the future, you have to educate yourself. And another quote from uh, Grant Cardone. He is actually a millionaire in the US. He said, save to invest. Don't save to save. The only reason to save money is to invest it. And so again, we have another misconception that saving is actually the same with investing. So, mamaya, pag-uusapan natin what's the difference between saving and investing. So, all of these things, the reason why we want to study investments, the reason why we want to educate ourselves when it comes to investments, because it's actually one of, one of the pillars na kailangan meron ka bilang isang future labor force ng Pilipinas is that you, you don't just simply want to work for the rest of your life. Some of you may, may say, Ma'am, gusto ko mag-retire at 40. Ma'am, I want to travel the world and uh, see all of these beautiful places at tayo kong matrap ako sa opisina at magtrabaho na lang ako para magbayad ng bills. Well, if that's your mindset, I think you are in the right subject. So, this is going to be an interesting sem na although we are just um, looking at each other from your devices, from your laptop, we, we're going to make the most out of this sem and I think you're going to discover yourself all the more because of this subject. Your personality when it comes to investments, lalabas lahat yan because of these subjects. Let's look forward to that, shall we? 
In 2017, according to the Banco Central ng Pilipinas, only 3% of the entire population of the Philippines are engaged in investment in stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and other organized investment schemes in the country. So that's roughly 2 million Filipinos out of 107 million in terms of population. So see how minority the investors are in this country. Alam nyo, if you go to the States, you go to Canada, you go to Japan, even a school teacher or even a janitor is investing in the stock market. So what does that mean? No? Uh, two semesters ago, I asked my students, pumunta sila sa downtown market, pumunta sila sa uptown market, they went to the terminal, bus terminal in Chesta, they went to the municipio, they went to, to the Capitolio, they also went to SM. So, they, they were scattered in so many areas. And I just asked them to, can you survey random people? Kung ilan sa kanila ang meron ng bank accounts? And then the second question is, ilan sa kanila ang merong life insurance? So it turned out, you know what, 50% of the respondents said they had their bank accounts with them just because dun pumapasok yung kanilang sweldo. And only 20% of the respondents said meron silang life insurance. Ang, ang lumabas dun sa, sa result was when they asked bakit wala silang, uh, wala silang bank account, Ang lumabas na sagot, most of them are very intimidated to go inside the banks. So just going inside the bank for them is very intimidating. So what more pa? Yung the thought of investing. Okay? So, meaning, if there is fear installed in your mind, so hanggang tumanda ka na, eh ganun din ang magiging pananaw mo pagdating sa finances. So if I'm gonna ask you, how many of you guys, eh yung mga parents nila ay may sariling bank account. No? That's a huge question mark again for you. Ang sabi nila, uh, the way you handle your finances, the way you think about your finances is most likely na-adopt mo yan from your parents. If your parents don't patronize the, the concept of, of investments, the concept of saving, the concept of getting a life insurance, most likely magiging ganun ka rin if you don't educate yourself. Here's another statistics. According to uh, a Sun Life research, only 6% of the middle to upper income Filipinos have insurance products. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, 6% is still a very low percentage. So, kung tatanungin nyo ako, ma'am, para saan ba tong course na kinukuha ko ngayon? Well, the answer is this. You will be the future educators of the Filipinos when it comes to their, specifically, personal financial management practices. That's why your future career can end up as an insurance broker. You can end up uh, in an investment bank. You can end up as a financial planner, a financial advisor. And of course, syempre, you can work also in depository institutions like banks. Yun ang pinakasikat. So, if you're not interested with getting wealthy, alright? Sige, let's, let's change the term. If you're not interested with being secured financially in the future, I think this course is not for you. May time ka pa, you can still shift your course. But, if you are willing to educate yourself with how to properly invest, I think you are in the right course and you are in the right subject. To sum up our first episode, you will be having your first individual sit work. You're going to interview five of your relatives who are already working. And I want you to ask them what has been the effect of this pandemic on their savings. Do they have any regrets na hindi sila nag-save ng mas marami before? Or if given the chance kung pwede nilang ibalik yung 2019, kung pwede lang ibalik yung 2018, Ano-ano yung mga paraan na sana nagawa nila para mas naging prepared sila sa pandemic na ito. And so, this ends our first episode. I'll see you on the next.